Hello students, welcome back. Now, in this video, we will discuss about the environmental issues regarding uh, like greenhouse effect, global warming, deforestation, reforestation, ozone layer depletion. Moving ahead with greenhouse and global warming. Greenhouse is a small glass house used for growing plants during winter. The glass panel lets the light in but does not allow heat to escape. Thus, the greenhouse warms up. Same way, the greenhouse effect. It's a natural phenomenon that causes heating of Earth's surface and atmosphere. It maintains the present average temperature about 15 degrees centigrade. Without greenhouse effect, the average temperature at Earth's surface would have been at minus 18 degrees centigrade. Clouds and gases reflect about one fourth part of the incoming solar radiation and absorb some of it. But half of solar radiation falls on Earth's surface, heating it, while a small amount is reflected back. Earth's surface re emits heat as infrared radiation. But a part of infrared is absorbed by atmospheric gases like carbon dioxide, methane, CFC, nitric oxide, etc., and so cannot escape into the space. These gases are called greenhouse gases, radiate heat energy. It comes to Earth's surface, thus heating it up again. It causes greenhouse effect, and thus these gases are known as greenhouse gases. You can see in the diagram the pie chart contribution of greenhouse gases to total global warming. The majority is the major one is the carbon dioxide, then comes the methane, then comes CFC, and then and two O. So again, these are the gases that are responsible for global warming. Globe is warming. Overheating of Earth due to greenhouse gases is called global warming. During the past century, the temperature of Earth has increased by 0.6 degrees centigrade, most of it during the last three decades. What are the impacts of global warming? Number one is climatical change, that is El Nino effect. El Nino effect is an abnormal weather pattern caused by the warming of Pacific Ocean near the equator of the coast of South America. Other one is melting of polar ice caps, Himalayan snow caps, etc. Future impact, rise in sea level that submerges many coastal areas. How to control this global warming? By reducing the use of fossil fuel, improving the efficiency of energy usage, reducing deforestation and planting more trees, slowing down the growth of human population. Next one is ozone depletion in the stratosphere. Here students, you can see in the image, your left hand side is the image of a globe of the ozone layer Right in 1979, and on right and left hand side, it is in 1979, and on right, it is 2008. The blue color shows the hole in ozone that is depletion in ozone layer. Bad ozone and good ozone. Bad ozone is formed in troposphere, good ozone is found in stratosphere. Bad ozone is harmful for plants and animals, whereas good ozone acts as a shield absorbing UV radiation from the sun. UV rays are highly injurious since they cause mutation. The thickness of ozone in a column of air from the ground to the top of the atmosphere is measured in the terms of Dapsin units, that is DU. In stratosphere, UV rays act on molecular oxygen, causing the production of ozone. UV rays are also responsible for the degradation of ozone to oxygen. But this process are natural occurring process and both of them are balancing process. But this balance is disrupted due to 
ozone degradation by chlorofluorocarbons. CFCs move upward and reach stratosphere. UV rays act, as CF, act on CFC, releasing chlorine molecule, chlorine atom. In presence of chlorine as a catalyst, ozone degrades to oxygen. This causes ozone depletion. It is formed, it has formed ozone holes over the Antarctic region. What are the impacts of ozone depletion? UV radiation of wavelengths shorter than UVB are almost completely absorbed by Earth's atmosphere. But UVB causes mutation of DNA. It causes aging of skin, damage to skin cells, and skin cancer. And it causes the skin cancer. A high dose of UVB causes inflammation of cornea, which is known as snow, snow blindness, cataract, etc. It permanently damages the cornea. The Montreal Protocol, an international treaty in Canada in 1987, was signed to control the emission of ozone depleting substances like CFC. There are protocols for developed and developing countries for reducing the emission of CFC and other ozone depleting chemicals. Moving next to the degradation by improper resource utilization and man maintenance. And what are those? Number one is soil erosion and desertification. Human activities like over cultivation, deforestation, grazing, and poor irrigation practices leads to soil erosion. It results in arid patches of land and desertification. Increased urbanization also creates desertification. You can see in the figures how the before and the after, the impact of population, the impact of grazing, poor irrigation practices, deforestation as led to desertification the other one other impact is water logging and soil salinity these are the problems as a part of green revolution irrigation without proper drainage of water leads to water logging in the soil it draws salt to the surface of the soil the salt is deposited on the land surface or collects at the plant roots this damages the agriculture. Now, moving to the last one is the deforestation, the major concern of environmental issues. What is deforestation? It is the conversion of conversion of forested areas to non-forested ones. Almost 40% forests have been lost in the tropics compared to only 1% in the temperate region. National Forest Policy in 1988 of India has recommended that 33% forest cover for the plains and 67% for the hills. But we have only 19.4% of forest cover. It was about 30% at the beginning of 20th century. What are the reasons for deforestation? Number one, the reasons are conversion of forest to agricultural land, for timber, firewood, cattle ranching, etc. Slash and burn agriculture, that is germ cultivation, in the northeast states of India. In this, the farmers cut down the forest trees and burn the plant remain. The ash is used as fertilizer. The land is used for farming or grazing after cultivation the area is left for several years so as to allow its recovery in earlier days enough time gap was given for recovery overpopulation and repeated cultivation decrease the recovery phase resulting in deforestation now moving ahead to the consequences of deforestation Atmospheric carbon dioxide is increased because of because trees that could hold a lot of carbon in their biomass are lost. Loss of biodiversity due to habitat destruction disturbs hydrologic cycles. Soil erosion 
and desertification. There are certain other terms like reforestation. Reforestation is a process of restoring a forest that once existed, existed in the past. It may occur naturally in a deforested area. However, we can speed it up by planting more trees. Now, certain participation, people participation in conservation of forests. Number one event is Bishnoi Imo. In 1731, the king of Jodhpur in Rajasthan asked to arrange wood for constructing a new palace. The minister and workers went to a forest near a village inhabited by Bishnoi. The Bishnois thwarted them from cutting down the tree. A Bishnoi woman named Amrita Devi hugged a tree. The king's man cut down the tree along with Amrita Devi. Her three daughters and hundreds of Bishnois were also lost their life, saving trees. Government of India has instituted the Amrita Devi Bishnoi Wildlife Protection Award for individuals or communities from rural areas for extraordinary courage and dedication in protecting wildlife. The other one is Chipko movement of Garhwal Himalaya. In 1974, local women participated to protect trees from the acts of contractor by hugging them and, and thus the movement named as Chipko movement. Government of India in 1980s introduced the concept of Joint Forest Management, JFM, to work closely with the local communities for protecting and managing forests. In return for their services, the communities get benefit of forest products like fruits, gum, rubber, medicine, etc. So, dear student, it's in our hands. The key is in our hands. The key to greener planning is in your hands. It, in, it is in our hands. If we take the responsibility, we can convert, we can preserve, we can conserve our environment. We can conserve our earth. Thank you.